Hi, first graders. It's me, Mr. Christian. Happy Wednesday. I'm here to do a health activity with all, with all of you. And for today's health activity, we're going to be talking about something that's really important for our health. But before I mention what that thing is, we're going to try to figure it out by looking at this picture. There's a story with this picture. So I'm going to read it out to you while you look at this picture. Now the name, the title of the story is, what am I doing? Once I'm done reading it, I want you to guess what the story is, okay? So here's the story. My heartbeat is slowing. My body and all its parts are growing. My brain is very quiet. My body is very still. All its parts are resting. My eyes are closed. Sometimes I dream. What am I doing? What do you think, first graders? What do you think this story is about? And what do you think we're going to be talking about? today in our health activity. If you guessed that we're going to be talking about sleep, then you got the guess right. So the story is about a sleeping body. And it's talking about how a body gets plenty of sleep each night. So I want you to think to yourself right now, when you woke up this morning, how did you feel? Did you feel happy? Did you feel tired? Did you feel sad? Did you feel angry? Now, these feelings are normal. And every day we wake up with either the same or a different feeling. But we have to make sure that we are getting enough sleep because getting enough sleep affects how we feel the next day and how our mood is going to be the next day. So let's move on to our next picture here. I want you to look at it and try to think to yourself and guess, what are you seeing right now? What is this picture telling you? What does it look like? If you guess that this picture is about a kid getting ready to sleep, then you are right. Most children at your age have a bedtime. And for your body and your brain to feel ready and healthy, you need to sleep at least 10 or 11 hours each night. So we're going to see on a clock, how much does 10 hours look like on a clock? So first say hi to Mr. Clock. He's gonna help us figure out how long does 10 hours of sleep each night look like. So you're going to help me count the hours of sleep you will get with a healthy bedtime. And usually a healthy bedtime for kids at your age would be between 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock at night. So I'm going to be using my little mouse arrow. Hopefully you can see it. And we're going to be using this blue hand because the blue hand tells me the hour. And it's the shorter hand. The red hand is the longer hand. It tells me the minutes. So every time I touch a number as we go up and go around the clock, it'll be adding one hour. Okay, we're going to start with one and we're going to end until we get to the number 10. Okay, so for example, if we go from eight to nine, it will be one hour of sleep, okay? 
So do it with me. Ready? One hour of sleep. Two hours of sleep. Three hours of sleep. Four hours of sleep. Five hours of sleep. Six hours of sleep. Seven hours of sleep. Eight hours of sleep. Nine hours of sleep. And ten hours of sleep. So we ended here at the six. So if we started here at eight o'clock at night and we went all the way around 10 hours of sleep, you will most likely be waking up at six in the morning. Now, not everyone needs the same amount of sleep, especially like grownups, but a body like yours, because you're still growing up and you're still getting stronger, you need plenty of sleep and rest. So you would think, well, why is sleep important to me? Well, sleep, first of all, if you get enough of it, it improves your mood. It improves how you're feeling the next day. If you're happy, if you're excited for the day, if you have a lot of energy as well, just getting enough sleep improves your mood and how you're feeling. Now, getting enough sleep also helps you grow stronger. Like I mentioned before, you're, you all of you are still growing up. So getting enough sleep gives your body that time for you to get stronger. It also helps out your brain get stronger as well because you're still going to be learning a lot of things. But your, but your brain also needs that sleep in order for it to get stronger and you'll be able to learn a lot more new things as you grow up. I like to think of sleep as if sleep is kind of like the charger and we are like a phone or like a tablet or a laptop, right? What happens if we don't, if we don't get charged up? Well, the uh, cell phone or the laptop or the tablet turns off. So getting enough sleep at night is kind of our way of it charging our bodies. So that's a good way how I think of it. And you know, it's not only just us as humans, as people that get sleep, animals also get sleep as well. So here we have a picture of course of a kitty and a puppy. If you have any of these pets at home, you can also see that, yeah, they do get sleep. And they need that sleep as well for them to also have enough energy to wake up the next day to do fun stuff, right? And a lot of different animals get sleep. Like they can be as little as like some insects or they can be big as whales, like whales in the ocean. They also get time to sleep too. Now, there are some things that make it harder for us to sleep. And let's go over each one. One of them being drinking like sugary drinks before you go to bed kind of makes it harder for you to go to sleep. Eating candy for sure right before you go to bed or, or it leading up to you go to sleep also makes it harder for you to fall asleep. And these two, both of them have a lot of sugar. And we know that sugar gives you a lot of energy and it makes you want to run around and do stuff. And if we drink these sugary drinks and eat candy at night, and we have this energy, we're losing hours of sleep. The sleep that your bodies need for them to feel like they're ready the next day. Using technology and electronics like phones and TV, maybe you're playing video games or using tablets, using those like very late at night makes it harder for you to go to sleep as well. And of course, watching scary TV shows or scary movies, because sometimes these movies can make you have those scary dreams like nightmares. So these are just four different things that make it harder for us to sleep. So we got to make sure that we find a way how 
we can get enough sleep each night so we could keep growing as students and being able to do all the fun activities that are out there, right? Because you can't go running and playing the game if you feel tired because you couldn't get any sleep last night. So after talking about sleep, we want you to go to Seesaw and tell us what do you plan to do starting tonight to help you get enough sleep each night. You can draw us a picture. You can record yourself telling us on Seesaw. You can take a, you can, uh, uh, you can also draw something on a sheet of paper and take a photo of it and upload it to Seesaw. But let us know what you plan to do to make sure you get enough sleep. I already put my example up there. So hopefully that example helps you. All right, first grade, hopefully you have fun with being creative using Seesaw. And remember, try to get as much sleep as you can each night so you can wake up the next morning ready to do your classwork and ready to do all the other fun things that you're doing at home.